listen to those girls in there. They're absolutely going off, Lily. It's a good feeling. Oh, it is a good feeling. It's always good to beat the reigning premiers. And when we played like that, it's, um, it's pretty exciting. And the girls are up and about. Did you bring a real uh, intensity into this game because they were the reigning premiers, because they are the Adelaide Crows, or was it just uh, business as usual? Business as usual, of course. We um, we played pretty well last week, but knew there was a lot of improvement to be had. So um, we came to the game knowing that they were going to be playing pretty angry, pretty ferocious. Um, they are two losses now, which is going to hurt. Yeah. But um, yeah, we knew they were going to come out firing and we had to combat that and just play to our game style, which I think we did really well in the end. And that was mixed in his, uh, the coach obviously, his message to you girls was just do what you do best, get out there and stick to the processes. What have been those processes over the pre-season? Because it is such a finite time you get together. Yeah, I guess uh, over the two months of pre-season we, we drilled really well and we've been coached phenomenally over the pre-season. We've got the game plan. Um, it's second nature for yeah. us to go out and play the way we want to play and we've still got to build on that. It's, you know, we've only played eight quarters of footy together playing that way so we're going to continue to build I was just saying to the girls earlier it's like we played some good footy today but we're still not playing to our best footy which is the exciting bit and there's um, good t things to come hopefully. Absolutely good things to come you're on the road for a, a good week a week or so really and you're going to some warm places are you going to factor that in you're going to taper the training off a bit because it's going to be hot in Perth and then you go to Alice Springs. Yeah it'll be a really exciting week um, yeah lighter week this week I think and then head over to Frio Hopefully some nice weather. We were a bit worried that the um, the heavens were going to open and we are going to see some wet weather footy back out at Casey, but the footy gods were good to us and the wind turned around too in the final quarter and went our way. So hopefully um, all good over there and then back it up in Alice. So there'll be some warm weather footy to come. What I love about watching uh, you guys run around at the moment and your game style is that you've got, we've got two little gun whippets that are running around the forward line in yourself and obviously we've got Alicia Newman kicking two goals today. Fantastic football to watch. She, Alicia's been great for you guys. She's a speedster and she's got some flashy skills uh, to pair with her boots. Her boots are just as loud as she is. So, But when she kicked a goal like she did, that opening goal was phenomenal. Kicked a few bounces and then kicked it from the pocket when the wind was blowing gusto. So, nah, she's been great and she's continuing to build on that confidence that she, um, she played with last year and now she's putting some method behind it. So yeah. she's going to be a real weapon for us going forward. You've got some tall timber in your forward line there. Your, is, is your game plan at the moment just get to their feet um, and, and try to kick some goals, tackle pressure, just run? What is your game? What are you trying to do yourself individually at the moment? Uh, I guess just get to as many contests as I can. Um, sort of rotating as a small forward through the wing and midfield as well. So I guess I play my best footy when I'm at the contest and, um, you know, cracking in pretty hard. So, um, yeah, down forward, I guess. Mifo and um, Tegan Cunningham, they're creating great contests and great opportunities for our smaller ones. And then around the footy, um, yeah, we're playing with really good method and, um, you know, making that contested footy to the outside and, and getting some really decent scoring opportunities. And I think it's all going to plan thus far. Absolutely, Lily. I don't think I've ever seen you play a bad game <laughs> Thanks, since Robert. the age of 13 years of age. Again today, you perform <laughs> really, really well. You really will gel well as a group. It's an opportunity to gel again when you go away over the next, I think it's about 10 days you're going to be away, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a really nice time to get away and the whole group's coming over to Alice to um, get to a few community camps and things like that. Yep. So we'll really gel. Um, we had that time over in Bondi together, yep. which kicked it off. So um, to get back on the road will be hopefully a positive for our group. Lastly, before I let you go and uh, get ready a little, because you've, you've been in the ice bars already, but you've got to finish off your preparation. Yes. Um, women's football, obviously, the second year in now. Team is a massive part of that and hopefully things go really well but you talked a little bit about that community vibe you're going to go away to Alice Springs you're going to do that in Perth uh, do you feel an extra responsibility to to really grow the game everywhere you go now because you are one of the big names of the AFL women's competition I guess it's um, it's really important that we we are being good role models as female footballers and um, little girls are now aspiring to be well they can see a pathway which is really exciting so I guess there is um, that sense of responsibility to put your best foot forward and and play some good footy and um, you know give back to the game um, when we were younger we didn't have that that visual to see that we could we could go play that elite level game and um, yeah it's really exciting for those young girls so um, we'll be doing our best to giving as many high fives to young girls 
girls and um, showing them that, that anything's possible. It's really exciting. It's wonderful to hear that from the horse's mouth, somebody that's actually out there and you've got girls leaning over the fence with cardboard things that they've written stuff on to their stars, their heroes. They've still got heroes in you guys. You're doing a great job, Lily. Keep it up. I want to see you kick some goals over the next couple of weeks and maybe a few Robertson-style fingers in the air, OK? <laughs> I like it. Thanks, Robert. <laughs>